use a 10 millimeter wrench to go ahead and loosen and remove the terminal here for the battery. Let's go ahead and loosen that up. When performing the cam sensor replacement, the power steering pump and the alternator do not have to come off while performing this job. Start with removing the valve cover and continue to removing the timing cover on the upper portion. You can access the cam sensor down below. Go ahead, use your flathead screwdriver. Gonna undo our cover locks here and lift up on the top. Get that cover up and out of the way, set that aside. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove all the nuts off the top here, all 10 millimeter. Remove your ignition coils. Press on the little tabs, pull the harness off. I'm going to pull up on our alternator power cord right here. And disconnect these two connectors, pinch the tab, work that up. Same thing on the EGR, press down on the upper tab, work that off. Gonna use a small pick on the back side over here, just gonna work it in and release this clip. Grab the whole harness, flip that back. Okay, to remove your ignition coils. We're going to use our little pry tool here to go ahead and get underneath and work those coils up. We're going to go ahead and remove our vacuum tube right here. Remove our dipstick, pull that off. Just give it a quick wipe, set this aside. Remove our harness off the back side here. Push that back. We're gonna remove our 10 millimeter valve cover bolts here.
go ahead and remove our oil cap here. And remove our 10 millimeter bolt in the back here. Use a 10 millimeter socket, remove the AC line bracket here. this up. Good, remove your valve cover gasket. We're going to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts holding the top of the cam gear cover on here. In the front part of our upper cam gear cover, there's a rubber boot here. Go ahead and pop that off. There's a harness inside. I'm going to press down on a little spring clip on there. Trying to remove the connector off the top of that sensor. Go ahead and remove that connector off of that. In order for us to effectively get to the time and cover bolts and hardware that we need to remove, we're going to loosen the uh, bolts holding the ABS module in place here. I'm going to remove this 10 millimeter bolt right here. Now the other 10 millimeter bolt for the bracket for the ABS module is right here. We're going to use our gear wrench.
And on the back side here on the strut tower here, we're gonna remove this 10 millimeter bolt. Now this just allows for a little bit of room for us to manipulate this unit around. that bolt out. Just the right of the cam gear, there is a cam sensor roughly about positioned at about five o'clock to position to the uh, cam gear. It's a 10 millimeter bolt to go ahead and remove the cam sensor here. So let's go ahead and remove that bolt and take that sensor out. Bring our sensor down, line that up. Now the position of the cam sensor is in a very awkward position. So once you get that set in there, you still have to get your 10 millimeter bolt in and it's hard to see in there to see where the bolt is. I actually took an old rubber glove and I cut one of the fingertips off and I'm gonna slide my socket over there. And that's gonna hold my, so my bolt from falling out. So now I can reach the socket in thread that in and then pop the, uh, the piece of glove and the socket out. So let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, got the bolt in, here's a socket. I'm just gonna reach down there and pull off the little piece of glove. And go ahead and snug down that bolt there. Now on our upper timing cover, we have a bolt hole here. We have a bolt hole here and one on the end, all right? The bottom one here goes through this cover as well as the lower cover. So let's go ahead and drop this down into place. Lower it down, push that in. Let's go ahead and get our bolt started.
Now once we have all three of these started by hand, we'll go ahead and get those snugged down. These are plastic covers, so just snug them down. Now we did go ahead and clean the cylinder head around the perimeter, make sure that there was no residual gasket or any oil on the spots that our gasket is going to be seated. Take your valve cover, feed that down and in. Lower this down into place. Let's go ahead and get our valve cover bolts set in. Have the three short bolts up front. And two long bolts in the back and we'll get those all started by hand. Let's go ahead and snug these down. and torque the cover bolts to 7.2 foot-pounds. Bring our harness up here. Bring this down and over. Grab your cables, line up the brackets. I'm going to install the nuts for these here. Let's go ahead and snug those down. Once that's bottomed out, just snug it a little bit. On the back bracket right here, we're gonna install our bolt. Try and get that bolt started by hand first. Once that's caught, we'll go ahead and snug that down.
going to install our harness bracket bolts here. Let's go ahead and snug those down. Once it bottoms out, we'll just snug that gently. And do the same on this side here. We're going to install our ignition coils. Go ahead and connect our electrical connectors here. Now that those are clicked on, let's go ahead and put our 10 millimeter nuts back on and secure the coils in place. There's only so far you can tighten these knots down before it just stops, so just snug those. Install your oil fill cap. Connect our temperature sensor harness right here and then our EGR. Go ahead and install your oil dipstick. On the back side here, let's go ahead and install our 10 millimeter bolts. cut and take our bent hose here. Let's install our bolts for the ABS module brackets. that installed a few threads. Let's go ahead and get this bolt started in here. bottom that out yet because we still have a third bolt to install. Now the third bolt goes down on this bracket.
So we'll go ahead and tighten this bolt down and then we'll go back and tighten up the other two bolts. Install our cam sensor connector. And just work your way around the perimeter and pop that in. It's going to install our cover right here. Gonna install our AC bracket bolt right here. Get it started by hand and snug it down. Go ahead and grab your ground cable here. Let's go ahead and tighten that down. <laughs> 